and uh, trying to write the new call here. As we give Dolores' mortal remains back to Mother Earth from which it came, we give her eternal spirit back to God. And by the way, we Catholics have a powerful way of reminding ourselves of that uh, in the, what we call Ash Wednesday when we put an ash, a cross of ashes on our forehead and we hear the sobering words, remember you are dust and unto dust you shall return. So the, the operative word always there is the word return. So everything must go back to where it came from. And we're, we're, we're made up of two great components, what the scripture calls the dust of the earth and the breath of God, or the Spirit of God. And when those two elements are separated, they go back where they came from. And the mortal part of us came from the earth, and so it must return to Mother Earth. And that doesn't uh, trouble us or uh, make us uh, morbid. Anything that is true is always somehow liberating, isn't it? And it's good for us to know. It doesn't scare me that I have to go back to dust and, uh, where I came from. But uh, they might have to drag me all the way to Ireland, though. In order to that. <laughs> <laughs> However, I may end up in California, we see. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And a prayer over uh, Dolores' final resting place. Which direction is it, over there or over here? Well, whatever it is, God knows. So I'll say a prayer of blessing over the grave. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth, they trust that they, like you, will live again. Give our, our sister peaceful rest in this grave until the, that day when you, the resurrection and the life, will raise her up in glory. Then may she see the light of your presence, Lord, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray for our sister Dolores to the Lord who said, I am the resurrection and the life the one who believes in me will live even if he dies, and every living person who puts his faith in me will never suffer eternal death. And I would ask if you would please respond to each prayer I say with the word, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you wept at the death of Lazarus, your friend. We ask us in our sorrow, we ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. You raise the dead to life, give our sister eternal life. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister to the joys of heaven. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with the oil of salvation. So give her fellowship with all your saints. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. And uh, Dolores was nourished with your body and blood at the table of the Lord. So grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We ask this in faith. Lord, Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our sister. Let our faith be our consolation, eternal life our hope. We ask this in faith. Lord, and we will all together recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses.